Dun, dun, dun. Whenever, 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 like, Thank you, Keys! Hey, Read on stream really the weirdest stream appropriate filling fanfic that Snackers can find. What? Very important and very necessary. Other fun fanfics out there? Do those exist or what? Chat, send me a link. Today, Fillion woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Namely, the underside of the bed. She screamed uproariously as her neighbors broke down quietly into tears. Her neighbor, a living, breathing individual with a lived history as real and as rich as that of any other human, but whose story would never be told, has been dealt the thousandth psychological cut by the most insane animalistic clamor of the mentally unsound woman, child, next door. Okay. But Fillion thought nothing of her neighbor's torment as she hollered and flailed, terrified and confused as she was that she had somehow crept through her own bed in her sleep. Skip. Okay. Fillion figured that the key to Lena's heart was hidden deep inside Lena. So with an enthusiastic arf, she swung herself into a smaller form and went spelunking. I can't believe I don't remember What? Else. That's crazy that Tilda King and those pills must Wait. have really messed me up. Where, what am I spelunking? The course was actually proved too adventurous for the Twitch bots and the stream was promptly killed. What? Wait. Spent the next hour searching in the kitchen. Melody unable to realize Pride Melody had never used a room. Despondent, she had tended to sit on a chair. What? Okay. I have no idea. Her skirt had disappeared for whatever reason back at square one. Dismayed and drowned trodden, Felayton retreated to her dark basement in a desperate last ditch effort at getting some hopefully helpful advice from her pet Rexon. Haha, <laughs> what the frick? Having been deprived of food and attention for several days, Rexon began vigorously panting and drooling and wagging his tail. The moment he heard her footsteps coming down the stairs. I don't think I can read this anymore! Uh, Fillion, and yes, she is a male confirmed. It's proven because her skirt, she hides a huge yeah, present for snackers. <laughs> Cease! Stop it once! Stop you better going to cry to get sky butter people! Alright, chat, let's let's say let's let's bust this popsicle stand, eh? Okay, give me a while if we keep reading two of her good. How much deeper do we have to go? One? Two? Okay, I'll read like one more. One more random paragraph. Um Fillion, I know I now have your attention finally. Please, 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 please read my DMs. It's been almost two days already and we really need to sort this stuff out. If we're gonna have the summer wedding you said you wanted, we really need to book now. I narrowed it down to three venues, well at least one may be too pricey, but I think you'll like it. And I really need your input. We gotta figure it out. I can't just book something on my own. And I know it may be a bit early, but we should at least get started on the guest list. I'm telling you, I really can't be friends with Kendo. Not after he pooped, he pulled on the Kentucky Adventure. I know that's gonna be a hard one, so we gotta talk it out sometime. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, no, I found the 4 -chaner. Listen, bro. I don't know. Just don't show up in my house. We'll be good, okay? What is this? I don't know. Am I gonna get stuck now that I read this? <laughs> the worst part is I don't even know who this is. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scouts! 